Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to talk about a thing in Python that I think is broken. I wish it would change, but it's pretty unlikely that it will, so I'm going to show you what's wrong and how you can work around it. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so we're going to be talking about warnings. Uh, I did another video on this that I will link in the description. Warnings is a system that's built into Python that uses a special type of exception that allows you to signal to the programmer that something is not quite right. Usually when you want to deprecate something or change behavior or something like that, you'll use the warning system to communicate to the programmer rather than to your end user. Uh, so I'm going to simulate a situation where I've made a library and then we're going to deprecate a function. So we're going to make a really creatively named mylib.py and we're going to have an old function in here and we're going to you know, have it still do its behavior, but we're going to deprecate this function. And in order to do that, we're going to use the warnings module and we're going to call warnings.warn and we're going to pass in a deprecation warning. Uh, this is an instance of a special exception. Normally these exceptions aren't raised. They are sent through the warnings.warn function uh, and the warning system handles them as exceptions if you need to. Uh, let's say use new function instead or something like that. And for those of you that have worked with warnings before, you'll notice that I've made a bug already with the default functionality of warnings.warn. And that's kind of the entire point of this video. Uh, and I'll show you how to fix it, but first I wanna show you why this is wrong, uh, despite it looking completely normal. Uh, let's also make a piece of code that utilizes this function. Import my lib main, oops. My lib dot old func, print it or something, return zero. And then we'll write out our little boilerplate here. And we'll have our little functionality here. And if we run this, uh, python3-mt, you'll see that it still runs the existing code. We don't have any noise in our output because we're not a developer here, so we're not really worried about the warnings. We're just an end user of this tool here. Now, if we were a developer of this, we might turn on the Python warnings, uh, warnings filter, and this will allow us to see all of our deprecation warnings that are hidden by default. So if we set Python warnings to once, uh, this is an environment variable, you'll see that we have our deprecation warning here. You can also do this by setting the dash W flag on uh, the executable here. Now you'll notice we see our deprecation warning, but it's not very useful. You'll see here that it points at the library file and the line number in that, and not our actual code that's using this. So it makes it really hard to track down where the problem is. You can see that it's, oh, I did that wrong. It should have been plus four. Shuff, cool. Uh, cool functionality in my text editor, you'll see that it points at this line here, which is not super useful. Like we we can probably already find that this is where the warning is coming from, but we don't know what, what code triggered that. Now, one way to hack around this, if someone else makes this same very easy to make mistake, is to uh, instead run this with warnings mode in error mode. This will convert the warning into an exception. You'll get a full stack trace, and then you can very clearly see, oh, this is my code that calls this deprecated function, and it's very easy for me to clean up there. Now, the actual thing that should really happen here is this function should not be wrong by default. And the way to fix it is to use the stack level parameter to the warnings.warn function. Uh, stack level by default is one, I think. It's either one or zero. Um, but I, should, I would argue that the stack level default should always be two or greater. Uh, what stack level does is it jumps up the stack a certain number of places to find the file name and position, and it produces the warning on that position rather than the default position, which is just where this is. And the reason that it's two is because uh, the warn function counts as one, then this function here counts as two, and then you would want the thing above that. So if I set stack level to two now, and I use once, you'll see that it now uh, prints the position of my calling of this function rather than the actual definition itself. Uh, now, unfortunately, I think changing this in CPython, changing that default would be a, you know, it's, it's always difficult to change something, like surely someone is holding down their space bar and using that as a space heater or whatever else. So it might be difficult to change, uh, but this is a good thing to look out for. It might be a good uh, opportunity for a linter to make sure that you have a stack level set. Um, I once surveyed CPython, and I found that they make this mistake as well, so maybe there's an argument to change it. I don't know. 
Uh, but anyway, that's a little wart of the warning system. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.